Welcome back to another Muskrat Talk Warzone video. This is another one for Season 4. Managed to rack up 6 kills in this one. A little lower kill game, but I was testing out a new weapon. Decided to use the Cold War AK-47 as my sniper support option. Turned out pretty well. It's a little more bouncy than I'd like, but can definitely take out targets at range. Anyways, if you like the video, a like, subscribe would be great. And if you want to be notified of any recent videos coming out, hit that bell icon. Anyways, let's boot up and let's get into the game. One of the best strategies in early game is to do recon, so landing on them early game really puts you far ahead. There's a lot of people here, so I quickly grab my weapon and keep doing my recon. This allows me to get my loadout really quick. Once I finished up that contract, I was able to get my loadout. I'm getting the Cold War AK-47 and my Car 98. I decided to get a bounty contract to try to get some kills here in the early game. Notice he's in the building, so the far end. I rotate up and notice he's still walking away after popping my UAV, so I position for a fight. After missing the shot, I know he can just stay on that ridge, so I enable dead silence so I'm nice and quiet as I'm walking up there. I try to flank him and take him out. Well done. I decided to keep this in and speed up the footage because once I get in here, I get another UAV and discover there's another player rotating in. This is probably one of my favorite audio clips. I was, <laughs> it made me laugh quite a bit. Recon over flight inbound. UAV entering the AO. Oh my lord. After this kill, I know I need to rotate pretty far, so I use this vehicle. I'm not a huge fan of it, because you can get shot really easily. So my first thought is, let's upgrade my vehicle here before transitioning on. Fortunately, as I get out, somebody starts taking shots at me. Remember to always have full plates before peeking, otherwise you can be taken out in just a split second. Use the height on this side of the map to position in where I believe the insert will be. Unfortunately, someone on summit sees me up here and is the bounty hunting me, so I'm forced to engage him. The enemy lost track of you. You're safe. After taking some of these shots, he decides to rotate, so I lose track of him. As I'm looking around, I discover he's actually in one of the gondolas that transfers over. Fighting's done. The area's cleared out. You've got gas inbound. During this fight, you can notice on the minimap and here that there's fighting going on farther south. So I position and try to get a shot on this. Loadout drop headed your way. After finishing this kill, I hear somebody get into the building I'm in, so I know somebody's here, and then it becomes the last 1v1. I'm looking around and think I hear movement behind me, so I glance up at the top of the roof. Fortunately, this was him just getting into the gondola, getting him in good position. take a really risky rotate here, but luckily I managed to still land on the building I wanted, preventing him from pushing up immediately, letting me self-revive. At this point I'm out of plates, which is kind of freaking me out, so I try to play as conservative as possible while listening for his footsteps. plays I have no gas mask so I'm forced to rotate early and try to get a better position. Again trying to play just in case. But with one plate I won't stand too much of a chance if he fires. Luckily I hear him down on the low ground and easily take him out of the win. Mission 
hopefully you enjoyed that one. I know there wasn't as much kills as I normally get, but I think it shows the importance of positioning for those final circles. Being on top of that building where no one else could get up except for a ladder allowed me to survive and end up in the final two. Obviously that guy's gondola play was very good and positioned well. I luckily landed after getting killed with my self-revive. Um, after this game, I'll go over my AK-47 loadout. It's a new sniper support option I've been running. So if you don't want to check that out, don't worry. But thank you again for looking at the video, and hopefully I'll see you later. Please like and subscribe, and have a good day. Out. So the weapon I'm using is the Cold War AK-47, uh, using the Gru Suppressor. Microflex LED, Spetsnaz Grip, 45 round mag, and the Gru Elastic Wrap. This is a great sniper support weapon. It is a little slow fire rate, but hits like a truck. Just have to control that recoil. Anyways, thanks for checking it out. Have a good day, and I'll catch you on the next one.